the indian epics always refer to fabulous weapons today our subject of discussion lies on that note in the rama and whenever sita is thirsty ram shoots an arrow into the ground and outpours a spring in the mahabharat arjun does the same whether it is to quench the thirst of his horses or to quench the dying thirst of bhishma thus in both the epics arrows are not just arrows they are missiles we are told that in ancient times rishis could turn a simple arrow into a missile with the power of mantra through mantras they could inject into an arrow the power of a god thus one could create agni astra using the power of the fire god vayu astra using the power of the wind god varun astra the power of the water god and nag astra using the power of the serpent god why ordinary weapons could only kill one person a mantra charged astra could kill numerous people in the ramayan ram raises an agni astra against varun the god of sea and varun begs to stop he tells ram to build a bridge over him instead of asking him to part the water and make passage ram agrees but knows that an arrow once mounted has to be released so he releases it northwards and the place struck by it turns into what we now know as the thar desert eventually it is only by using the brahmastra that ram is able to kill ravan for the rakshas king is too mighty and powerful in the mahabharat arjun and karna shoot such terrible missiles at each other that they scorch the skies and burn the earth in the final chapter an angry ashwatthama releases the brahmastra and arjun releases a missile to counter it Vedvyas begs the two to pull them back and warns that if they strike together nature will be destroyed forever Some people believe that the description of the after effects of the missile strike in the epic indicates ancient Indians had predicted the aftermath of the nuclear warfare Arjun is able to pull back his arrow but not Ashwatthama who directs his arrow towards the unborn child in Abhimanyu's wife's Uttara's womb. Krishna saves the child but curses Ashwatthama that he will live a miserable life with unhealing, festering and puzzling wounds. We are told that these arrows are used to build roofs over the yagnashalas and to build bridges over rivers. In the Ramayan when Hanuman is flying back carrying the Dronagiri mountain of herbs he is shot down by Bharat as he is flying over Ayodhya Hanuman relates his tale to Bharat and tells him the plight of Ram and Lakshman to help him reach Lanka on time Bharat shoots a powerful arrow that carries Hanuman with the mountain in hand In the Mahabharat Grand sire Bhishma uses arrows to block the flow of river Ganga and Arjun uses arrows to create a bridge that enables Airavat Indra's elephant to descend from the sky to earth for the pleasure of his mother While Ram has the power to use these astras he hesitates to use them By contrast the heroes of Mahabharat are eager to use these mantras perhaps the poets wanted to convey that wise men do not show their strength why strong men lacking wisdom do the same think about it thank you